What's going on, shady people? Shady Penguin, welcome back to the next Duel Links video. Today, we're gonna be seeing if I can make Lava Golem work. Now, I haven't done any research on this at all. I've been super busy with Jokon and auto dueling, although I haven't auto dueled since early this morning. So that's why we got full duelists again, but my wife just got home and she's watching the dog, so I can record. And this is the deck we're using. I don't know if it's gonna be good. I kind of wish there was more than one Lava Golem in this game. Uh, but I had this idea of locking down my opponent between using uh, the Unhappy Girl, which basically says, well, this card is in face of attack position on the field. This card is not destroyed as a result of battle. A monster in the battle with this card cannot change its battle position except with the card effect or attack while this card is face of attack position on the field. So basically, you attack a monster, lock it down. A lot of you guys are familiar with that mechanic. If not, you're going to learn so today. Uh, we use Rai Maze to search them out and thin our deck. We use Lava Golem because this whole deck is based around Lava Golem. I really want a second one. Uh, but I don't think there's two allowed in the game, which I guess makes a lot of sense considering it could does a thousand damage during each of my standby phases. Uh, then we use Nimble Musasabi, one of my favorite looking cards because he's just a cute little freak and basically when you destroy a battle instead of the graveyard, you inflict 500 damage to your opponent, so that helps. And then you can also special summon up to two Nimble Musasabi from your deck to your opponent's side of the field in phase of attack position. This card cannot be tributed for tribute summon. Now the question is, does that mean that this doesn't work? Must first be special summoned to your opponent's side of the field by tributing two monsters to control. It's not a tribute summon, it's a special summon. So we're gonna see if this works. It might not, it might not, but we're gonna see. Uh, I have not tested it. We're playing one Dark Mimic level one just to draw a card, uh, just to speed the deck up a little bit. I run three Mask of the Accursed because that is what also helps lock down your opponent's board. Uh, we run three Hinotama because it is kind of a burn-ish deck. And then we run three Faint Plans to stall. Uh, say we are going first and we open up like Unhappy Girl and Faint Plan. We don't want our Unhappy Girl destroyed, but we don't want to leave ourselves completely defenseless. So you go ahead and set your Unhappy Girl and go with a Faint Plan. Like I said, haven't tried this out. This is going to be a learning experience right now. Hopefully in Duel 1, we can find out if Nimble Musasabi doesn't work because you are tributing it, but it's not a tribute summon. It is a special summon. So part of me thinks, for the most part, it should work. However, if it doesn't, I can kind of see that end up because it, it is tributing the monster, even though it's a special summon. But they can be tributed for other things, the Nimble Musasabis, the flying squirrels. Uh, so I'm hoping this works. We'll see. We're going with Taya. We're trying to find a new good Taya deck since Taya Burn has been dismissed. Thanks to Restructor Evolution getting hit. Uh, Holy God. And here we go. So we open up uh, pretty okay. We have the Lava Golem Sleeves. Another reason, oh my gosh, no, he's playing. I know he's playing, he's playing um, Gemini's. He's playing Gemini's. He has to be playing Gemini's. Um, let's go ahead and let's lock down. Now see, this is what sucks though. Let's not lock that down. Let's do this. Let's set Dark Mimic and let's equip Mask of the Accursed to this guy. Let's equip that right there. He's got branch. I honestly thought he was gonna be running Gemini. I really did. I'm gonna hold on to my Hinotama because this isn't, I'm not gonna win this turn anyway. And uh, I would much rather keep a card in my hand uh, hidden than just play it and let him think like I only have two cards left. Okay, that's great. Cause if I want to destroy him, I can. Uh, that sucks. Uh, the question is, do I really want to destroy him? Probably not. Let's just, let's take the slow way out. Let's take the slow way out right now. Of course, he's gonna draw three cards this turn, going up to five cards in hand. So we're probably gonna lose this one, considering it's a it's a branch deck, uh, which is, of course, a fusion spell deck. There's another Shard of Greed. I'm just trying to Lava Golem you, man. You can tell by my sleeves. I'm just trying to Lava Golem. That's it. Um, is he gonna summon something else? Let's see, he tributes that off, that sucks, and oh, it is a Gemini deck. It is a Gemini deck. All right, please attack the one on the right. Please attack the one on the right. Uh, you know what I'm thinking with this deck? I'm thinking a really, actually this is fine too. I'm thinking a really good thing to have in this deck uh, would be some sort of uh, Sphere Karibo. Sphere Karibo is for the unhappy girl lock to defend them once they're in attack position because uh, it gets, it definitely gets a little dicey. I'm gonna go ahead and go for another Mask of the Accursed because why the heckles not. Let's set a Nimble Musasabi. We technically have, if if this Mask of the Curse survives the turn, which hopefully it will, hopefully it doesn't have another ill blood to go ahead and tribute it off. Oh man, we need to be able to speed our deck up a little bit more, unfortunately. Uh, 
have potentially played a faint plan here, but it's okay. Because what we're gonna do is we are going to let him attack my nimble. Attack my nimble! You think you're nimble? You're not. Uh, let's go ahead. Like maybe in a big shield garden to slow things down. That might help a lot in this deck. Uh, a big shield gardener. Because realistically, they're really not gonna be able to attack with more than one monster per turn unless they attack into a nimble Musasabi. Right there. All right, so this is good. This is actually fine. Uh, we might win here. I'm trying to see. Because we're gonna deal a thousand when we crash. It's not gonna be the Lava Golem win. Can, honestly, this video is just gonna be, can we summon Lava Golem? Can we summon it? All right, so technically he should take a thousand life points right there. Take a thousand. Uh, I don't know why I, I screwed up and I didn't play these in, in the, I didn't do anything I was supposed to do. I hope I lose. I honestly hope I lose. I I, I I had the game right there. All I had to do was play the Sino Thomas. I don't know what I was thinking. I was so, so focused. I, I do lose right here because he has destiny draw. Oh my gosh. I was so focused on just on, on crashing, on crashing those two cards that I didn't even, go ahead, use polymerization. Oh, he's so lucky. He's so lucky, man. It really must be nice. Wait, why didn't he take, oh no, I wouldn't have won. I mean, all I, I would have won because all I had to do was set. Wait, does he not have enough damage? All I had to do was set on Happy Girl and a faint plan and we'd be fine. I don't think he has enough damage. Don't have the Gemini booster. No, of course he can still tribute summon. Bluff me thrice, man. Uh, he would have been able to use this. It wouldn't have mattered because we would have a fainted plan. So you know what, that's not the deck's fault. That's me, that's totally me screwing it up. Uh, super hardcore and I hate doing that live with you guys. But I, I don't know what it is. When I see that flying raccoon squirrel thing, I just, I just, I get triggered because I've had animals in my attic before. I get triggered, that's all it really is. That's all it really is. Uh, that game was ours. That game was ours, not the deck's fault at all, even a little bit. I'm not even gonna pretend like that's the deck's fault. We deserve to drop seven ranks because of that. I was just, I don't know why. I like slipped into U IRL Yu-Gi-Oh where there's a main phase two for a second. I really did. Slip out of that, we're done. I've been, you know what it is? I've been, I've been watching a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh videos, real Yu-Gi-Oh videos and, and trying to see if the real card game is worth uh, getting into like, besides just collecting, actually playing. Losing, you'll lose a rank. Thanks for letting me know with your Pokeballs on the left. Okay, Power of Dark, a 28 card deck. Can we not lose to this? Lava Golem in hand. Okay, hold on, we have to do this. If this was a Nimble Musasabi, we would win. Out the gate, we would win. We, or at least we'd get to find out if you can actually Lava Golem. I want the Lava Golem, Matt. You have to summon this 100 times. Oh my gosh. Basically, you have to play minimum 100 duels, draw him. I mean, you could probably make a farm deck to farm the mat against AI. Like you just make a really good deck that thins itself out. And then Lava Golem summoned it. So he's gonna end his turn just like that. I'm actually gonna go like for the throat. If I could draw a Raimei, that would be fantastic. I would really like that. I would really, really, really like a Raimei. But we're gonna draw this. You know what, that's fine. That's fine. That's 1100. When you're playing a burn deck like this, every single piece of life points matter. Every single piece. Go ahead, use your Windstorm. Does anyone even, I feel like Windstorm no one plays anymore. Isn't that wild? That was like the number one card, the number one free to play card uh, in the game. It's still a great card. People, people gotta play it. There's no way they don't play it. I just haven't seen it in forever. Look at that, he's already down 1100. Easy, come on Lava Golem, this is your time. We literally have what we need. We literally have what we need. Summon one monster and attack the wrong one. Attack the wrong one, I dare you. Do it, you won't. Can you set this monster face down? I hope it's a big shield gardener. I really do. I really hope it's a big shield gardener. Okay, here we go. Unhappy girl. Unhappy girl, we're gonna see what this face down is. We're gonna learn together. Goodness, maybe I should play like one tribute monster in this deck. Just one. Like Air Knight so that I can draw cards. Come on, Taya, attack with your monster. What is it? What are you hiding? Oh, it's you. Okay, okay. Come on, 
Let us summon Lava Golem. I wonder if Lava Golem has his own animation. Oh, I hope he does. And I hope it's not just with Merrick. I hope it's not just with Merrick. That would be, that would make me the saddest of all penguins. Make me Super Saeed. Super Saeed. Not Super Saeed, not Saeed. But you know, you know what I'm saying. My turn is done. All right. He knows the Lava Golem is coming. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. All right. Um, we're going to change everything to defense position. Uh, except for you. I could equip Mask of the Accursed on that thing, but I really don't want to. If we get Lava Golem off, I want Mask of the Accursed. Obviously. Here I, go. I don't know why this man, I don't know whose man's this is, I draw a card. that he won't just summon something else. He's got five cards in hand. What are you doing? Summon any other monster. Are you soft or what? All right. There we go. That's what I like to see. Time to That's what I like to see. Come on now. Yes, the worst possible option for you. All right, this one at least, um, I mean, technically I quote unquote shouldn't do this because now he can attack over my unhappy girl, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it just because it deals 500 points of damage. Uh, and more importantly, I wanna know if when I tribute this, if I can tribute it for Lava Golem, rather. Go ahead, attack this. Attack it, there's no reason not to. Get rid of my monster. Think you're making me sad, but you're not. You're making me glad. Of course, Lava Golem can backfire incredibly. That's why Mask of the Restrict is not the only card you wanna play. Let's I think playing this. some Spear Kribos would be really I good. Uh, I think a faint plan works just as well. Ooh, Econ. What are you doing? I'm super confused. You're gonna tribute a monster. Take control of this unhappy maiden. Wow, you really, he really doesn't want me to see if this works. He just went out of his way to make sure I can't tribute off Nimble Musasabi for Lava Golem. You know, that's that that really grinds my gears. That really grinds my gears. However, we still get to go ahead and special summon Lava Golem. Please have an animation. Please have an animation. Come on. Come on, Duel Links. You can't add a card this cool and not animate it. This animation would have been... Ah, oh, it would have been so cool. It would have been amazing. I'm so frustrated. Maybe there is one, Merrick. Let me know in the comment section down below. I have to see it if there is. I have to see it if there is. Like, I, I... I'm losing my tongue. Okay, we got a blue eyes white dragon in hand. That's a little scary. Um, hmm. I'm a little nervous here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask of restrict this lava golem for sure. But I'm only gonna use one. And then I am still gonna attack the, with the unhappy maiden. Just in case, just in case. Because during each of my standby phases, he's gonna take 1500, he only has one turn. Oh no wait, it's during his he takes a thousand. During each of your standby phases, take 1000 damage. Oh. Now if someone mystic boxed me, if he mystic boxed me right now, see that's exactly why I attacked. I was gonna play both Mask of Restrict, but that's exactly why I tackled Unhappy, because at the very least, he needs like Kaiba Man into Blue Eyes in order to um, to get over my Unhappy Girl. His Black Pendant, you, real you can't attack. I don't think he realizes yet. I don't think he realizes yet. If you still have that Econ, it would totally be worth doing. Gravity Axe, okay, that scares me a little bit. It scares me a little bit, except, except for the fact that you lose this turn. Oh my goodness! Sort of dark rights. It just happened to have lot. Wait, you can only clip it to me. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. I mean, I'm in gold. We didn't have any terrible duels like this in the last one. So, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. I really don't. That's the end of your turn. I think you realize that you can't attack. All right, and we can just show him the top deck if we want. 
We actually don't even have to wait till next turn. We're gonna do the pro plays. We're gonna do the proest of plays. Show him the second Mask of the Accursed. Don't ask me why I'm BMing so hard. Uh, and then we're gonna go for the proest of pro plays because you don't take any battle damage. Musasabi can finish you off. But we summon Lava Golem in our second duel. Let's see if we can do it again. Let's see if we can do it again. Super pumped. Super pumped to be playing with Lava Golem. Uh, and I'm sure there's a better deck out there than this one. Like I said, this was just me fiddling around in the in the, in the the catalog. I'm sure I'm missing a super crucial card that would help out so much, because I always do. But I really, I, I'm honestly super tired of straight up net decking. I don't mind when I get deck checks from you guys. I, I like that, but I don't want to go searching anymore for decks to bring to the channel. I want to either build them, discover them, or have you guys submit. Of course, there's a chance that you guys will have net deck and send the deck. But I mean, I can't control that. That's not in my control. Mind control. Speaking of mind control, here's Marek. 23 card deck. Uh, I would not mind summoning Lava Golem against Marek. Prior to Contrary Belief. So we open up with the Nibble Musasabi, which of course I'd love to have him attack right away. He's actually playing the big boy. He's gotta be playing the big boy. And there's the Lava Golem, yes! Okay, here we go. Um, what's the best way to do this? Let's go ahead and let's set our uh, a faint plan just in case, because honestly, if he does get that big boy, we might, uh, no, we'll, we'll let him attack then. That's when we will let him attack. Set the second monster, is he special summoning right now? No, going for the battle. Are we gonna faint plan? There's really no reason to. Right, there's no reason to faint plan right here. I mean, worst case scenario, we don't draw a monster next turn and that could screw us. That could definitely screw us. He's gonna take 500. And I really wanna know if I can tribute this for Lava Golem. Doesn't want to attack with the Nimu Musasabi. He's afraid of it. He's afraid of it. We did draw a monster, which is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and special summon that Lava Golem. And surprise, surprise, we can tribute this thing. Although I'm not going to, I'm gonna go ahead and tribute these two because uh, they are much more. I didn't realize I could also summon a special summon in defense position. Uh, I'm not going to. Ooh. Ooh, okay. And then we'll Mask of the Accursed him. And just in case he gets rid of it. Now, part of me doesn't want to set this thing face down. Wait, I can't normal summon this turn? You cannot normal summon or set the turn you play this card. <sighs> Didn't know that. All right. I skipped that line of text about 400 times in my life. That's super good to know. Sphere Karibo, even more important in this deck now. But he's going to take a thousand life points here. Guaranteed. And now the question is, and he's probably playing right back at you and he doesn't have battle damage. He, I mean, I didn't deal any battle damage. I'm not dealing battle damage to him. He's gonna go ahead and go for this, that's fine. I'm gonna take 800, but he's gonna take 500 and another thousand, draw Hinotama. Yes! For game, ladies and gentlemen, for game. We ain't messing around this time. He's gonna take 500. Yes. Me? I actually damaged you. You! Hinotama it up. Is that, the best you've got? that is the, that is literally the best I got. Now, even if I didn't draw that other Hinotama, I could have attempted to attack the Nimble Musasabi with my Raime, but instead we're gonna play it super, super, super delicately safe. And just in case he somehow like, in his standby phase goes for, he can't go for the Econ because I don't have a monster to take control. That's a really, a really key thing to keep in mind. You don't really want to set a face-up monster on your opponent's side of the on your side of the field because during the standby phase or during the end phase, uh, they can tribute the lava golem and take control of it, and you don't want to give them that opportunity. So there we go, lava goleming Marek feels so good, feels so good. This is gonna be game four right here. So the first game we lost was a farce. We won the second and third game with lava golem, mind you. Let's see how the fourth game goes. Uh, like I said, first game was kind of a farce. I messed that up. It's not the deck's fault at all. Not even a little bit. Uh, so this deck is this deck is looking pretty spicy. It's looking pretty spicy. It's not fast though. It's not a, it's not in competition with red eyes. That's for sure. At the same time, if my opponent tries to red eyes and summon a bunch of things, I could lava go on there. 
really wouldn't work out. Like, I, I, you would need a second one. Oh, Joey Wheeler. He's trying to climb. I'm just trying to have fun. I'm just trying to goof off right now. Holy God. We open up with Lava Golem again. What is this luck? This luck is out of control right now. If I was this lucky all the time, woo! Have you buying a lot of left and right? You can call me Swami's worst number one enemy. Honestly. Honestly. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. Summon a monster in attack position. All right, summons this lady. I set a card hmm. face down. I'm fine with her attacking it. I'm fine with her attacking it. Cause it'll thin our deck out by two. Now, if that's if we decide to do it that route, which I think we will. Do we want to? Do we want to thin out by two or just one? Uh. I don't know if I want to take 1,600 damage. I'm not going to take 1,600 damage. I'm not going to. I'm fine with just taking the 800, but 1,600 might be a little bit too much for me. A little bit too much. I like that this might be a spell counter deck. It makes me excited. Uh, Rymei's not going to matter because actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe this is how I should play it. Huh. I mean, Lava Golem Goleming right away seems so good. I'm gonna do it. I was thinking maybe I play the Rai Mei and I, uh, I, hope you can help me. I play the Rai Mei and then I use a faint plan next turn and then he has three monsters from and I could choose from something better instead of the Nimble Musasabi. I think that might be the right play because then you can flip open your Rai Mei and attack over it. But for now, Let's see if this works. My turn. Let's see if this works, because this deck really relies on having the Mask of the Accursed. At least in its current state. What is this, Wild Tornado? Divine Rat! Oh, that hurts so bad. That hurts so bad. Oh, I think I lose. <laughs> oh, what's my win con now? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The counter. Yeah, I think we just lose. It's okay, though. I'm not too upset over it. Uh, I mean, we get, our win cons are still, like, the same. It's still burn damage, and it's still Mask of the Accursed. You know? All right, Taya, enough of your light preaching. All right? All right, there's another Mask of the Accursed. I will actually activate that. Because we need to start doing damage. A Sapples. A Sapples. The other problem with tributing off that Nimble Musasabi is that, like, so for example, I could have just. Um, I could have ended up getting rid of Display Rider and a Big Fat Boy instead of Nimble Musasabi. Okay. What do you do? Oh, you're Gemini, that's right. You get equips back. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna faint plan here. I guess I didn't have to. No, those are pretty dumb play. It's okay. We drew an unhappy girl. We got rewarded regardless. Okay. Let's do this. Let's really hope that he goes one turn without drawing a monster. Otherwise, I think we are stay rude, as the kids say. Yeah, he drew. Ooh! I love seeing the Warriors, man. I never got a chance to build that deck. I love seeing it, though. Knight de Graffa goes to the top deck. So now he knows he's drawing more monsters. He knows what he knows. Let's battle. Now, if only I had a Sphere Karibo in hand. Take this. Uh, My gonna but that's okay. Won't give up. I'm not we have three in our life points time. left. Uh, and I am in risky business position. If he has a tribute monster, then um, then we can't lock him down. Uh, 
let's go ahead and get rid of you. Tribute monster or econ. Either of those things wins in the game. Arguably, I should have flipped this up and searched for another happy girl to thin my deck out and draw my Hinotamas or another Mask of the Accursed. Start dealing more damage. But I mean, he put his own Warrior Day Greffer on top, so we know that he didn't draw a new tribute monster. If he had it, he's he's gonna play it now. Right, we win this one. Ooh, baby. Might as well just activate it. Like I said, we're trying to deal as much damage as quickly as possible. Who's not? Okay, no, I'm not gonna equip it to you. Equip it to you. Okay. Now, I think I will do what I said. It's not like we have any faint plans that are going to save the day. Let's, Let's do this, this, then our deck out. My yes. Monster, Activate Rai Mei and add the Unhappy Girl to hand. You're linked to all of them. Haha, <laughs> linked! You get it? And we have to survive two turns! Two turns to win! Two of my opponent's turns to win. All he needs is an econ, really, to win. Uh, yeah, I should have. Did I? I don't know. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I was the one who misplayed. I definitely did at some point. Just with who I'm attacking. And who I'm equipping this. Oh, no, this is equipped to you. Never mind. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Yes! That's turn one, baby! That's why you play tributes. This is why you play tributes. There's a faint plan. Not that it matters. Oh, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Just on the off chance this saves us. You know what I mean? Just on the off chance. Let's go ahead and lock this down. And the question is, will he draw a tribute monster or an econ? Actually, if he draws an econ right now, it won't help him. Will he draw a tribute monster? Wait, no way do you have like tornado. Do you, you have a way to pop this? You do not have a way to pop that. Wait, what does this do? Oh, he's just equipping it. Okay. I thought like some, I thought his effect was going off or something. I set a card face down. Did we do it? I think we did. I think we did. Battle. Yes! Wa pa pa pow! There we go, ladies and gents. There we go, cheesing it up. They call me Mr. Swiss. They call me Mr. Swiss because all my decks have holes in them. But look at this. Look at this. I will take it. I will take it. I will take it. I will take it. In fact, I think that's all the time uh, I have. That's all the time I have time for right now. Unfortunately, I would love to do uh, one more duel, our fifth duel. But honestly, I have a prior engagement that has to be ready for in three minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to show some shady lips that thumbs up down below. And if you're new, hit subscribe already. What are you waiting for? Have yourselves a fantastic day. But above all else, keep it shady.